In this week's Gardening 101 with Jeff Ray, the problem with the virus, not COVID, but rose rosette instead. It's this plant right here, a rose plant. I inherited when I bought the house. I keep looking at this and I know about rose rosetta and the virus that's killing roses across all of North Texas. And I keep wondering, should I keep this plant or should I just dig it up? I'm gonna talk to somebody. Rose rosetta is a virus that travels on mites. It deforms the plant into forming small dense leaves and thorns as it slowly kills it. There is no cure. It only took two years for it to devastate one of the greatest rose collections in North Texas. We had about 2,500 roses back then, and it started to make an impact because not only did the roses have this strange growth on them, but the roses started to decline in flowering and had to be removed. They would start to die. Yes, the 80-year-old rose garden in Fort Worth was wiped out by Rose Rosetta. And yet, today, there are still roses here. You really needed to change the way that we grew our roses here. Gone are the dramatic long sweeps of roses in endless rows. Now, individual rose plants are isolated and surrounded by other plants immune to the disease. No, it is not inevitable. Pam Smith is in charge of the rose gardens at Farmers Branch. She says, keep your healthy roses, immediately remove the diseased ones, and plant other flowering plants around what you have. I have roses in my yard that at least a couple of them are probably 25 years old. By carefully monitoring your roses, not using leaf blowers around them and keeping them apart from each other, there is a good chance that your roses won't get the disease for a long time or at all. Rose Rosetta is not the end of roses. With the new techniques and close monitoring, it is a beauty worth the risk. Jeff Ray, Gardening 101. Well, there's a special video on our website, cbsdfw.com, on how to identify Rose Rosette and more information on the disease. You'll also find a link there if you have any questions about your garden that Jeff can help you find an answer to.